our strategies as a show is to simply grab the coolest person who happened to be walking by <laughs> during the show and ask him if he'll come on. Fortunately for us, Dwayne Wade said yes. The yeah. three-time champion is right here on the set. Yeah, they ain't really give me a choice. They just grab the chair and said, sit down. So. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you make of this series, which is either the closest it could possibly be, 610 points to 610 points, oh my God. or the most lopsided series ever <laughs> in which no team has, has won by under 10 points so far? Yeah, well, for sure it's been unpredictable. Uh, no doubt about that, but I love where I think it's going today. I think we all do. I think the buildup for this game has is, is, been incredible. And uh, I know everybody in this building, I know I am. We're glad to be here. This is, we Hopefully this is a game we can say we was there. You know, coming in the building tonight, do you still get excited? Do you wish you what? was out there? I mean, my heart beating fast. Yeah, right now. <laughs> okay, I understand. My, my palms were, beating, were, were sweating. But I want to ask you, just in, in watching the film, I was watching your face when you was watching LeBron. Yeah. And I know how close y'all are and how much you root for him. But at the same time, you know, how do you walk into an arena and say, man, I, I'm rooting for him, but I still wish we was together? <laughs> well, no doubt. Well, I made a face at the uh, at the screen because JR stole my loud. Yeah, yeah, I saw Didn't that. that? Yeah. He, he stole my loud, yeah. but uh, it looked good. Uh, but, you know, yeah, that's a, he's a very good friend of mine, man. You know, we talk very often. You know, my job as a friend is to give him encouragement. But as a, as a pro, as a player, you walk in here, you want to be out there, you yeah. know, but uh, hopefully – Hopefully one day I get to get a chance to be back out there. Now, Dwayne, you've been in the game seven at home. You guys beat the Spurs yeah. a, few years, a few years back. Just talk about the pressure, the environment, the, the electricity of a game seven yeah. and what it was like for you going through that and, and ultimately winning that championship. For sure, man. The crowd is huge, obviously, as, as everyone knows. I think the thing for us was the start of the game. We really wanted to come out and impose our will. We was playing against the San Antonio Spurs. I mean, obviously, the, one of the best teams in the last – two decades <laughs> um, so it was a tough game all the way through but you know we had a lot of confidence coming to that game because of our game six and we was down five and ended up winning that game with a couple of seconds left so the confidence was very high and we felt that we had the confidence the whole game that we was in control and we was going to win. D-Wade talking about the two guard position you handled the basketball a lot and got a chance to make plays yeah Gardner Clay Thompson what's your mindset of trying to keep him down from scoring a lot of points. It's so hard, man. Clay, you can't relax on Clay. You know, you can't even take a breath. You know, he, his trigger is so fast, he never stops moving. Um, they always ask me who the toughest guys to guard for me has always been the Ray Allens, the Richard Hamiltons, the Clay Thompsons of the world. The guys just have a motor, and the, his ability to shoot the ball at the Golden State sign in the middle of the floor is scary. So, uh, you know, it's, it's no he's no easy task at all, and he don't he's not shy about shooting either. He's going to get them up, so <laughs> it's fun to watch. And what's your guy LeBron like on nights like these, leading up to a game seven? Yeah. What's his mood? What's sort of his M.O.? He's, uh, it's like locked in. He has that mode where he goes into this mechanism where he's just so focused. And um, you, as a teammate, you get you get so confident going into the game with, you know, arguably the best player every night. But when he's locked in like that, you know you have a chance. Is he talking? Is he not talking? Is he, he ain't talking himself? much. He ain't talking much in moments like this. You know, he's silly throughout the whole season probably a lot of times. But big games, LeBron James ain't saying much. You know, I, I've often called you the best leader in the NBA today. Thank you. And when you look at LeBron James' evolution as a leader, yeah. what do you see in him now compared to where he was when he first joined you in Miami? Well, he's, you know, he's leading this team. He know that he really knows that this team is going to go as far as he's going to go, and not just by play. Uh, by by his his words before the game, by his actions, by the way he walked, talked. So they following everything, mimicking everything he's going to do. When he came to us, you know, we had championship pedigree. These guys haven't won a championship yet, so they really need to lean on everything that he's done because he's a two-time champion. And I think he really understands that now. Anyway, you've been watching the series. You've done some television. Yeah. Tell us just quickly the keys for each team. What did they have to do, the Warriors, and what do the Cavs have to do to win this, this game? I think for me it's as simple as this. Golden State had to impose their will from the start of the game. Don't give Cleveland any, any confidence in this game early on, and vice versa. Cleveland had to come out and make sure that Golden State don't impose their will. You get this crowd behind Golden State in this game, this game seven. You know, as we all know, role players play amazing at home. You know, you cannot allow the role players to get in this game. If they do, you're going to have a tough task if you're Cleveland. But if I'm Cleveland, I want to suss the noise real early and just make it, you know, make it a dog fight on the court. You know, we have LeBron, we have Kyrie. Who's the key for the Cavs, in your opinion, for them to get a chance to win this game seven? Well, I think uh, Tristan Thompson and J.R. Smith are very important on both ends of the floor. 
Uh, Tristan has been an animal, you know, in the games that they won. He's important by giving them extra opportunities, protecting the basket as well. And Jr. Man, Jr. can shoot the way he do, and, and you know them games where Jr. is letting it go. And also defend. If Jr. can defend the way that you know he's capable of defending, they got a great chance. You weren't the guy who bought the two fifty thousand dollars seats, were you? No, I'm sitting way up there somewhere. <laughs> I, I got to get ready to go so I can get the elevator to take me upstairs. I don't believe that for a second. Uh, Dwayne Wade with us here on live at the finals. Thank you, guys.